Uh, welcome to a new video. In this video I want to show you how you can use Cinema Pro and give you some tips and tricks on how to use it on your Xperia uh, 1 line or Xperia 5 lineup. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the Cinema Pro app. The first thing that you want to do is like instead of shooting in 20 frames per seconds or anything in between is if you don't have an ND filter choose 60 frames per seconds because this makes everything a little bit darker. You can play with your ISO, you can play with your shutter speed a little bit and uh, you can yeah, have then the optimum in terms of um, in terms of exposure. If you want to shoot yourself basically like a selfie video that I did for example in one of my videos that you saw uh, regarding the final audio A4000 review uh, you hold your hand here you can see that the exposure meter here on the left changes and what you can do then is you have the option to play with the ISO a little bit to make it a bit higher now it's exposing on your face as you can see here or what you can also do is like go to your shutter speed and choose audio here which will make it a little bit brighter if you go away now and this is really really important to take a look at this exposure meter you don't have a histogram so looking at this even if you on the screen see ah, it looks a little bit too bright trust this exposure meter if it is zero it looks okay trust me because the display doesn't get so bright especially on the older xperia 1 and xperia 1 mark 2 um, that sometimes it looks a bit too dark even at, at the exposure level zero but trust me it is fine on the computer especially if you put like uh, it through a lot or something like this so this is one very important thing to set up here the other thing i want to talk about is uh, the focus so you have autofocus and manual focus whenever you film something where you don't need autofocus just choose the menu focus and you have like a and b points here that you can choose so i can click on a and it will slowly fade to the a point and if i have a close-up it will slowly fade to the b point here my hand for example so this is possible but if you use uh, autofocus what i recommend you to do is choose an area on the screen where you want to have autofocus so if you know that you will sit there on the chair if you subject there on a chair on a chair you just tap here you can see you get a little bit box here this box will stay there and it will keep focusing on this which is a very good thing so if i put my hand here you can see it will focus on this put my hand here it will not focus on this but here in this area it will focus on this and this is very important because sometimes i notice that especially because i think it has something to do with hdr when hdr is enabled and this is always enabled on the um, on the cinema pro app uh, you cannot turn off hlg hdr here then it has a little bit of problems when it comes to focusing with the main lens or other lenses so choosing the area where to focus where you have autofocus is very important if you want to film yourself and uh, it is a little bit better than uh, when it comes to focusing so this is important then the other thing that you might want to take a look at is the white balance so you can tweak the white balance to whatever you like i like it a bit because it's cloudy right now to set it to cloudy right now so it's getting a bit of warmer color but you can choose whatever you want to uh, from the presets here you can also choose auto or daylight um, which we have right now or you can tweak it even here make it a little bit warmer a little bit warmer if you want to so as we have summer right now here i like to make it a little bit warmer but this depends on what you want to do so you can tweak this as well uh, then whenever possible try to go as low with the iso as possible so if i go here to 64 is the lowest iso go to shutter if you don't want to do it manually you can click the auto one it says it's too dark right now so you have to do it manually and so let's go up i like to go to the 180 rule but this is not working because we have it too bright right now even with the 60 frames per seconds that i'm recording right now but you can hit the auto uh, now and it now works and goes to another shutter speed that works for this 
if you want to do the trick don't forget to put your hand here because it sh should expose on your face so as you can see it is usually one step or two steps above and then as you put your hand here this is where it will focus and where it will set the exposure you can see this little uh, arrow here that's pointing to where the exposure will be so this is very important and afterwards yeah you can just uh, start with recording and these are my few tips for recording in uh, the uh, Cinema Pro app. There's one last tip because as good as the picture is, it's nothing if you don't have good audio as well. And if you don't want to do yeah, raising, raising volumes as crazy or lowering volume, just take a look at the peak meter here for the audio. You can also tap on this and it gives you a meter here. We can set up it even higher if you're further away. If you're using external microphone, it's pretty cool that you can set it up here. I have to set mine to 10 for some microphones because their sensitivity is not as high to get a good audio that I don't have to run through a different kind of software uh, a few times for, for boosting the audio so much. So this is also very important to do uh, if you want to vlog or if you want to do a recording of yourself with the Cinema Pro app. So these are now my tips and tricks with the Cinema Pro app. If you have some tips and tricks, what you can do still with the Cinema Pro app, just write them down in the comment section. That is everything for this short little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.